What's this? Who uses paper? Did this blow in from the Stone Age? You're invited to the last bookstore. Some stories just need to be told. The last bookstore? Where'd this even come from? Characters waiting to take away From classics to wonders Each spine holds a key Ah, a visitor. You must be Elliot. How'd you know my name? Oh, it's a small place. The right people always find their way here. Right. I got this letter. From you? A letter can be a doorway to stories. I thought you might need one. Look, I write stories all day, but I'm fresh out of inspiration. A bookstore isn't really going to... That's the funny thing about inspiration, isn't it? Sometimes it finds us. Feel free to look around. You may find something you didn't know you needed. I'll take you up on that, Mr. Rowan. You're new here, aren't you? First time. I didn't even know places like this still existed. There aren't many left, but this one's special. Is that one of your favorites? Yes, my husband used to read this to me. Every Sunday morning, it became our tradition. A chapter a week, with coffee and toast. That's a beautiful tradition. Do you still come here to read? Oh, I can't bear to read it on my own. But sometimes, I'll sit here, in the corner by the poetry shelf, and listen to the pages turning. It's comforting, in a way. I didn't know a place like this could hold so many memories. It holds more than memories. Each book has its own life, shaped by everyone who's held it, loved it, even cried over it. This one holds parts of us. I guess I never thought of it that way. I write, but it all feels digital, empty somehow. Like it doesn't have the same weight. That's why I come here. For the weight. For the connection. Take it. See what it has to say to you. Are you sure? Books are meant to be shared, just like stories. Maybe you'll find something in it that helps you with your own. The smell of the past In every chapter The shadows are cast Gathering wisdom A timeless embrace In this sacred space We find our place Hey, do you work here? No, just visiting. But maybe I can help. Looking for something? I, uh, this belonged to my dad. He left when I was a kid, but I found this in my mom's attic. It's mostly blank, but there are some scribbles, like thoughts he never finished. So, you're here to find out more about him? Yeah, I mean, all I have are these fragments. Little pieces of a person I never really got to know. I figured maybe a book here could, I don't know, fill in some blanks? Sometimes books do that. They can give us words for things we didn't know we were looking for. I'm not sure what I'm even hoping to find. I just... It feels like he left something here for me. Like it's just waiting for me to understand. Sometimes, even the act of searching can tell us more than we realize. Maybe you'll find something about him. Or maybe you'll find something about yourself along the way. Thanks. For, you know, not thinking I'm crazy. If you're crazy, then so am I. Oh, the last bookstore Where dreams come alive Looking for something specific? Not exactly. More like analyzing something. I'm studying emotional response in literature for a project. Trying to quantify it? Quantify emotions? Isn't that kind of impossible? Probably. But I work with AI, and we're trying to see if we can create algorithms that feel emotions, or at least mimic them. And how's that going? That's what I keep coming back to, that people aren't just pieces of data their memories, moments, things I can't seem to replicate. Maybe because emotions aren't just data points. They're stories, experiences. You can't capture that in an algorithm. Maybe that's why I'm here too, to see if there's something in these pages that can bridge that gap. Maybe you don't need to bridge it. 
Maybe you just need to understand so it. here's to the stories, the lies we explore, in the magic of words, forever we... Mr. Rowan, this place, it's, it's unlike anywhere I've ever been. I feel like, I don't know, like the books are alive, like they hold pieces of people. Every book in this store holds a part of its readers, their thoughts, their dreams. They're all here, waiting for the next person to find them. So, the bookstore is like a memory keeper? A storyteller, if you like. It remembers the people who come through, weaving their stories together, even if they'll never meet. That's beautiful. But why me? Why was I invited here? You were searching, Elliot, more than you realized. I think the bookstore felt you'd fit in here, maybe even belong here. Belong? People come and go, Elliot. Some stay only a while, others longer. But a rare few are meant to carry on the stories. You're saying this place is looking for a new storyteller? We're all just passing through, Elliot. But some of us leave a bit of ourselves behind. Think of it as an invitation. From classics to wonders, each spine holds a key, unlocking the magic of who we can be. The right people always find their way here. Welcome, Elliot. The store is now yours. The store is now yours. Some stories are bound by time, others by memory. But the rarest of all are bound by the people who carry them, who share them, who make them live on in each heart they touch. And so the story continues, waiting for the next reader, the next dreamer, to breathe it alive once more. Magic of words forever we soar.